evening, welcome to church. It's another time to learn at the feet of Jesus and to be blessed by him. So it's time for prayers here. Um, and as we all know, it is our custom to, our custom in this church, we always come together every Thursday, pray, seek the face of the Lord, worship God, and learn from him. You know, the Bible says in the book of Luke 4, 16, that Jesus, um, as, as the custom of Jesus was, he would go to a solitary place to pray, to pray, all right? So we are here this evening to seek the face of Jesus, and I believe that the Lord will hear and he will answer us, because the Bible says in the book of Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14 that if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray to me, I will hear their prayer and I will answer them. So I want us to know that as we have gathered together this evening to seek the face of the Lord, to pray for our nation, the Lord will hear and the Lord will answer us. The Bible says in Psalm 65 and verse 2 that it is the God that answers prayer and unto him shall all flesh come. All right, so we are going to start on the note of thanksgiving. Like the Bible says in the book of Psalm 100 that we should enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. So let us rise up on our feet as we begin to bless the name of the Lord for everything that he has done for his faithfulness for being our very present help in times of need shout for joy to the lord all the earth worship the lord with gladness come before him with joyful songs know that the lord is god it is he who has made us and we are his we are his people and the sheep of his pasture enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him and praise his name for the lord is good and his love endures forever and his faithfulness continues through all generations you will do well to begin to bless the name of the lord this evening for how far he has helped us he has been our shield he has been our buckler he has been our fortress he has been the one that has been keeping us oh lord we bless your name we give you praise and we give you glory for how far you have helped us we thank you for your faithfulness we thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy sir bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord this evening bless the lord this evening man brelli ke limbro dobo supri ende li era bossa i capale de bozon do rie de gesende ria membre ni monusco pri ende li cadelia ambre de che de bodo bossa you will do well to command your soul to bless the Lord. Command your soul to bless the Lord. He is the one that has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for how far you have helped us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for how far you have helped us. Limbre de Bodosha, Imbrelike Limbre de Gazendeli and the Bodabosha. The Bible says, For while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. We give you praise for that. We give you praise for that. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your love. Mam Bredike Lembro de Bosco, Priendeli and the Bosha, Ilembrendelike Yegazendeli and the Bosha, Imbrelike Yegazembre Nimonus Cambrendelia, Male Bogos Condori and the Bodabosondoria, Rapa Pale de Yegazendeli and the Bosha, Imalimbro Dogos Cumbriendelike and the Bosha. Ele le bossa, ele bodos cupri e che limbre de che e che zende lì le bossa. In produs copriende lì che de bodos compriende lì a in predica e che zende lì le bossa. Who are we, Lord, that you are mindful of us? Who are we that you care for us? Lord, our Lord, our majestic is your name in all the earth. Malika ne lì e ne mosso priende lì le bossa. In predica e che zende lì che doria, ma le bruno go scupriende lì le bossa. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, your name alone is to be glorified. Your name alone is to be exalted. Lim predica zendelia, maleke yege zendelia, ke yege zendelia le bodo bosha. Imbreli ke yege zendelia le bodo bosho. Imbreli ke yege zendelia le bosho. Supriye ke limbra. We say, Holy, Holy, are you Lord God Almighty? Ya, mani mosko priendeli ke de bosha. Elembrundo mosko priendeli ka nemonosha. We thank you for your grace that has been sufficient for us all this while. 
guerra ma nimbro do go scoprende lì e li imprende lì che devo dossa mande lì che devo scoprende lì e le che è che sende lì e devo dossa in bramali candelia in bramali candelia e monusco prende lì che in bronusco prende lì che l'imbro do go scoprende lì e le bordo scoprire che te riene po' scoprire lì e devo dossa e le imprende lì che è che sende lì e devo dossa blessed be your name oh God blessed be your name oh God for you are good and you are kind your faithfulness continues through all generations blessed be your name oh God blessed be your name oh God man brede che è che sende lì e devo dossa in brede che è che sende lì e devo dossa in produce con noi e devo dossa i will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be on my lips my soul will make a boast in the Lord the humble shall hear thereof and be glad we thank you for how far you have helped us we thank you for how far you have helped us we thank you for strengthening our feebleness Malik and Nelik and Ebrio Zondalia in brede ke ye ke zende li e de bosso in brede ke ye ke zende li e le bodo bosso supriyeng en de lia in lambrondo scupriyeng de li ke le bodo bosso in brodo godo bode ke ye che sende lì e le bossa mande lì che è che sende lì e le bossa scopriende lì e che è lì e le bossa scopriende lì e le bossa scopriende lì e le bossa e che è lì e che è che sende lì e le bossa e che è che sende lì e le bossa scopriende lì e le bossa e che è che lì e le bossa e che è lì e le bossa scopriende lì e le bossa lì in produzca e lì e le bossa scopriende lì e le bossa e le che è che se che è lì e le bossa e le che è che se che è lì e le bossa let us begin to pray for our nation Nigeria that it is only the cancer of the Lord that we stand in the name of Jesus in brodus comprende ria in brodus comprende ria in brodus comprende ri che devo dosca in this nation only your cancer we stand in the name of Jesus man brodus comprende ria de bosso in breli che yege zende lie le bosso e le che yege zengende lie che yege zembriende lie de bosso in brodus comprende che yende lie le bosso in bredis che ne lie de bosso comprende lie de bosso in lambrende lie che yege zende lie le bosso e le che yege zende lie le bosso Oh Lord, we commit this nation into your hands. We enthrone you as king over this nation. We enthrone you as king over this nation. We should call upon you and you will answer us. We are calling upon you this evening. We ask, oh God, that you enjoy yourself in Malin Rebosha, in the affairs of this nation, in the name of Jesus. We put you on top of the affairs. Lambrende Rieke Limbra de Bosha, Mandele Kegezegete Rebosha, Embrede Kegezegete Riana Monprondoria, and Malin Kende Rebosha. E le imprende lì che devo dopo supriende lì, ma che ne lì e che ne monogo supriende lì che devo sa, la papà le le che è che se che te lì e le bossa, e le che è che se che te lì e le poi le che è che sende lì, in produzco prien che sende lì e le bossa, this country is marching forward in the name of Jesus, le imprendisca ne lì, le imprendisca ne lì, le imprendisca ne lì, ma su le imprende lì e che ne imprendisco, imbre lì che è che sende lì che è che sende lì, e le imprendisco supriende lì e le poi le bossa. Mande lì che è che sende lì e le bodo bossu priende lì e le bo Racca catali e le bossa Racca catali e le bossa E in produsco prie che sende lì E le imprende lì che è che se che te lì e le bodo bossa Ma le imprende lì che è che sende lì e le bossa Me so io apprendi si vina Me so io apprendi si vina E le imprende lì che è che sende lì E in imprende che si priende lì e le bossa condo lì ma le che è lì che li imbrodusco su un priende lì ma le che è lì che è lì che è lì e in prete che è che è che è lì e le bo su priende lì e le bo su e in malin che è che è lì e le imbrodo lì che è che è lì e le bo bo su oh lord ma le imbrodo lì e che è che è lì e le bo su e in malin che è che è lì e le bo bo su ma le imbrodo lì che è che è lì e le bo su e in malin che è che è lì e le bo bo su we enthrone you we enthrone you le imbrodo priende lì che è lì e le imbrodo priende lì e le bo bo su Lembrede che gli è che sende lì e le bodo bossa Lembrede che gli è che sende lì e le bodo bossa Lembrede che gli è che sende lì e le bodo bossa Lembrede che gli è che sende lì e le bodo bossa Ma lembrede che gli è che sende lì e le bodo bossa Let us begin to pray for the body of Christ Let's pray that the Lord will cause you to break forth out of us In the name of Jesus 
our dear heavenly father the captain of our salvation our king and our redeemer out of the depths we cry unto you lord your ears be attentive to our voice we open you for with you there is mercy and abundant redemption and you shall redeem your church from all our iniquities in the name of jesus we ask oh God that you fill us with you we ask oh God that you fill us with you in the name of Jesus we want to know you more we want to know you more the church of Christ is going from glory to glory in the name of Jesus the body of Christ in this nation is going from strength to strength in the name of Jesus the Lord is adding to our numbers daily in the name of Jesus in you are making every cook get part straight for the church in the name of Jesus you are making every cook get part straight for the church in the name of Jesus you are causing light to shine in dark places you are causing light to shine in dark places la produzco priende li de bosha e que que te ligue de bodosha e que que te ligue e que zende li de bodosha Lord, these are the days of your power. Walk within us a willingness, a desire, and a strength to do according to your good pleasure. In the name of Jesus, we set ourselves apart for your use. We consecrate ourselves, O oh God. Bring every dry bones back to life in the name of Jesus. Bring every dry bones back to life in the name of Jesus. Cause our pastors to preach the word in season and out of season. Give them boldness, give them utterance so that when the word goes forth, miracles will come forth in the name of Jesus. When they send for the word and produce comprehend when they preach the word malika dariere bodobosha souls will be one into the kingdom we produce comprehend the dariere de bodobosha Oh Lord, your word says uh, you sent your word uh, and you healed them of their diseases. Uh, when our pastors uh, preach, uh, you will heal people of their diseases uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Holy Spirit is working amongst us. Uh, Holy Spirit is working amongst us. Uh, the Holy Spirit is granting us boldness uh, in the name of Jesus. Zendelia, in Breleke Yege Zendelia, in Glebo de Vosso Priege Zendelia, Ele Grebos Comprendelia, Ele Brendelia Gedebo de Bosa. The church of God is rising, the church of God is shining. We arise, we shine, for our light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. Lika Poli and the Mosco Priendelia, Ekendeli Lebodosco Priendelia, and Bredike Yege Zendelia de Bodabosa, our leaders shall pray the word. Without fear or favor, in the name of Jesus, mon produce comprehende li de bossa, reke ke te li de bossa, supriende li, i kamono mosu ke te li de bossa, malim produce comprehende li de bossa, de bossa. We ask, oh God, that whatever move you want to make in the church, you start with the expression of in the name of Jesus. You start with us here in the name of Jesus. We are ready for you, Lord. We are ready for you, Lord. Revive us, Lord. Revive us, Lord. And we will be revived. We lift up 
of our cup will be for you. We ask you that you fill it up. We ask you that you fill it up. Let brother go scoop the end of the bush. We place our heart of son with the heart of flesh. In the name of Jesus. Muzulim prende li ke di li the bush. En prende ke ye ke se ke te di the bush. Rapale le ke ye ke se ke te di the bush. Rapale le ke ye ke se ke te di the bush. Rapale le ke ye ke se ke te di the bush. Rapale le ke ye ke se ke te di the bush. Each and every member of this ministry is born for you. In the name of Jesus. Lim prapali ka daria. Lim prapali ka daria. Makosu ke te li. En brodus ko priende li the bush. Henceforth, we begin to know you more. We begin to know you more. We begin to know you more. In the name of Jesus. We ask, oh God, that the zeal for your house shall consume us. The zeal for your house shall consume us. The zeal for your work shall consume us. In the name of Jesus, the zeal for soul winning shall consume us. In the name of Jesus, no longer are we going to be ashamed of the gospel. Our confession this evening is that we are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because we know it is power of God that brings salvation to those that believe, first to the Jews and then to the Gentiles. Limpre de ge ye ge zendeli ya da bausha. Embre de ge ye ge zendeli ya da bada bausha. Embre de ye ge zendeli ya. Embre de ge ye ge zendeli ya da bausha. We begin to walk in love. We begin to walk in love. We begin to walk in love in the name of Jesus. Oh, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, Lord God Almighty. For it is a privilege to come before you this evening. It is a privilege to call upon your name. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for giving us access to the throne of grace. Thou may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the hour of need. Thank you, Lord, for giving us your word that is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, because we know that our lives will never remain the same even after today's service in the name of Jesus. We thank you because we know for sure, we know for sure, we know for sure that you have started the work. You have started the work. You have started the work amongst us. And we decree and declare that you that have started the work, we bring it into completion until the day of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name, O God. From the rising of the sun to the place where it's set, your name alone is to be glorified and your name alone is to be praised. At the center of freedom, to that I see, to that I see. At the center of freedom, to that I see, to that I see. There is power in your name Miracles happen in your name As we lift our voice in praise You that I see you that I see at the center of it all it's you that I see it's you that I see at the center of at the center of it all it's you that I see. It's you that I see.
As we leave the voice, we leave the voice. It's you that I see. 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 At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. There is power in your name. Yours is the name above all names. You have no right. You have no right. You have no evil. You have no evil. Now and forever, God, you reign. Yours is the king. Yours is the king. Yours is the glory. And yours is the name above all names. What a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ my King. What a powerful name What a powerful name it is. And nothing compares. What a powerful, what a powerful name, name it is, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You have overcome. You have overcome. Hallelujah.
most strong you have overcome you have overcome every army must come down and the song shall be told never be just one Stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. You have overcome. Every lightning must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You have overcome. Every lightning must come down. This is the part two of what I started last week. This is another Thursday. And I'm talking about faith and corresponding actions. Hallelujah. Praise God. A few points from what I said last week. Let me ask this question. Can a born again, tongue talking, Bible confessing student wind up with poor grades in school? Can they fail a course? The answer is yes. Because God won't do for you what you're supposed to do for yourself. Now, you can memorize every single scripture on mental and academic success. But if you don't go to class for lectures, if you don't open your books, like I said last week, and read voraciously, you'll wind up with poor grades, even though your spirit man is still saved, and you still have the mind of Christ. Can we go through a number of scriptures tonight? Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. Now, those of you that are students, or you have children that are students, or someday you are going to be a student yourself, this will be a good scripture for you. Glory be to God. It's a very popular scripture, but I want to read it. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Now, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. I like to read it this way. Put your name there. This book of the law shall not depart out of the mouth of Fred Elegbe, but Fred shall meditate therein day and night, that Fred may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shall Fred make his way prosperous, and then shall Fred have good success. Amen. That makes it come alive. That is one scripture for mental success. Very good. It's a promise from God. A covenant promise. Go to Isaiah 11. Let me show you another one. If you're a parent, you want to write this down for your children. If you're a prospective parent, write it down for your future children. <laughs> Glory to God. Waiting on God, don't worry. God will come through for you. Isaiah 11, verses 2 and 3. I claim this for my children. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The Spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. Now, you can believe this, you can stand on this for your children. 
And if you're a student, you can stand on this for yourself, the, the seven spirits of God, to make you of quick understanding. One more scripture along that line tonight. I just want to bless you with it. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 16. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 16. It says, For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Amen. Now my question is, can you know all these scriptures? And can you have the mind of Christ and still go ahead to fail in your course of study as a student? The answer is yes. Nothing is wrong with your spirit. Your spirit is perfect, just like God, just like Jesus. But you need to do what you need to do in the mental realm as a corresponding action to your faith. Now, you believe that if you meditate on God's word day and night, you will have good success. That is faith. Glory be to God. But for you to experience good success in life, you must be diligent at your studies. You must go to class. You must read your books. Paul the Apostle. Oh, what a man of revelation. What a man of revelation. What a man who wrote most of the letters of the New Testament. See, see his counsel. 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 13. 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 13. Paul the Apostle said, now this is one of the secrets of Paul. Till I come, guys, gave attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Till I come. Keep reading. Keep reading. Now that is not spiritual. That is a corresponding action to your faith. Anybody can read. So as a Christian, you can't afford to be lazy. In fact, even if you're a business person, there are books in the area of your business that you can read. I once met a professional drummer who told me he had over 200 books on drumming. Drumming? Now I would take that for granted. What is drumming? Boop, 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 boop. The guy said he had over 200 e-books on drumming. So when you see such a guy on the international level <laughs> as a superstar, the local guys are envying him and they're saying, well, who, who, who does he think he is? <laughs> anyway, he's just lucky. No, he's not lucky. One, he's saved as a child of God. Two, he has put corresponding action to his faith. If you want to improve yourself, you remain on the same spot year in, year out, and you'll be claiming all the promises of God. The same with health, the same with finances, the same with family, the same with everything. Glory be to God. Go to 2 Timothy chapter 4. Same Paul the Apostle. Paul the agent. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 13. The cloak that I left at Troas with Carpus. Now Troas was a geographical location. Carpus was somebody's name. When thou comest, bring with thee and the books. But especially the parchments. What is the name of parchment? Jota. So Apostle Paul was reading books and he was writing. Can you imagine? With all the revelation he had, he was a man given to study. There is no such thing as the gift of knowledge. There is only the discipline of study. Apostle Paul read and read and read. He wrote and wrote and wrote. Even in prison, he was writing letters because he was reading. He told Timothy here, the clock, the clock that I left at at Troas with Kapos, when you are coming, bring the cloak with you and don't forget, don't you ever in your life make the mistake of forgetting to bring my books. He was a man given to study. Daniel, in Daniel chapter 1, if you read the entire chapter, the Bible says, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were children that had understanding in science oh they, they had skill and all of that and in fact one of the verses i think verse 17 can we look at that quickly daniel 1 17 can i have that on the screen one of the verses looks as if god just gifted them knowledge as for these four children that's daniel shadrach meshach and abednego by the name their names were not shadrach meshach and abednego it was the king that changed their name no, no the, the eunuch in charge of, you know of, of those guys but that's not, that's not where I'm going. Read it. You see their names there. Now, as for these four children, 
God gave them knowledge, that sounds like a gift, and skill in, in what? <laughs> see, see for yourself. In all learning. So he didn't just open their head and put knowledge, boom, and put skill, boom. No. Have you ever seen anyone who is gifted in medicine? God just, he didn't go to any university. God just gave him the knowledge of medicine. And today he's a practicing medical doctor. Have you ever seen a legal luminary? Oh, he knows the law. In fact, he wins every case, but he's never been to law school, even if it's by correspondence. I've heard of people that went to school by correspondence, but they had something to read. They read law reports, they read constitutions, and they learned how to interpret the law. As for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning. They had to do all learning by themselves. In all learning. Then God gave them knowledge in what they learned. He gave them skill in what they learned, and then he gave them wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. My goodness, you couldn't beat these guys. The king had one dream. All the magicians, all the ast astrologers, all the wise men of the kingdom, they could not tell the dream, they couldn't tell the interpretation. But Daniel could. Because God was with him. Later in his ministry, Daniel told us the corresponding action to his faith. Daniel told us the secret of his wisdom in science. Because according to verse 4, they understood science. Daniel told us the secret to his exploit. Can we look at Daniel chapter 9 verse 2? Let's see the secret of Daniel. Daniel chapter 9 verse 2. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books. Are you listening to me, students? I, Daniel, understood by books. By books, by books, by books. Not by chatting, watching African magic, getting on Netflix and streaming all the movies. By books, by books, by books. Daniel was a man of great vision. By books. What did he understand? The number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, the prophet, that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. Fast forward. When you are walking by faith, you should meditate on scriptures. And ask the Holy Spirit to show you what practical, bold steps to take for your faith to produce results. Listen, guys, this will until waiting on God. One of my mentors, Papa Kenneth Copeland, said in one of his messages, he said one time he came down with a, a pain in his joints, elbow joints or so. Of course, if you know Kenneth Copeland, Papa, Ke Papa Copeland is a man of faith and is gifted in the area of healing and all that. He said, but the pain won't go away. Ah, ah. What could be going on? What could be happening, Lord? Then he went on as he meditated on the scriptures to wait on God in fasting. And as he was fasting, the Lord said to him, stop taking coffee. What? That's the last instruction I want to obey, Lord. He was so addicted to coffee. He himself said it. He said he was so addicted to coffee. He wouldn't want God to go to that area. But he knew this was the voice of the Lord. But why, Lord? People take tea. So the Lord said to him, tea is different from coffee. That this coffee you are taking is from a bean. And that bean contains some ingredients that are injurious to your health. And it has stored up in your bones, and that's why you keep having the pain. God's people, as they stopped the coffee, the pain began to die gradually. He said when he was completely healed, he, 
He said to the Lord, Lord, do you want me to teach the body of Christ this? The Lord said, no, that's not your, none of your business. This is for your personal consumption. God treats each of us as an only child. Some of us have issues in our lives that are traceable to what we're eating, and we don't know. And sometimes it could be what we enjoy eating the most. You might not even have an issue, but the Lord knows that if you keep consuming this thing, in the future, 15 years down the line, it's going to affect your liver. It's going to affect your kidneys. It's going to affect your blood. It's going to affect something in your body. Throughout last year, I ate bread six times. It was a struggle. If you knew me, I was a bread consumer. Right from my childhood. Oh, man, I love them. Talk about any variety of bread. Talk, talk about from the normal white bread to brown bread to wheat bread. Talk about it to the tasteless wheat bread. The one that you eat that's like cardboard, bland. But I believe the Lord began to deal with me in 2016. So I struggled and struggled, pushed it to 2019. And throughout that year, it was a fight. I managed out of 365 days to eat it six times. Now, any significant impact on my health? I don't know. But yes, I know. Because if the Lord is leading you to do something, it's for your good. Now, but you know, habits sometimes are terrible and very hard to break. So I've taken some more, <laughs> some more flour this year, but I'm, 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 I'm planning now to go back and, and say, hey, no, 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 no. Because, I mean, anything flour, anything pastry, sometimes... It might be an issue. And you're quoting scriptures. And you're decreeing and declaring. But there is something you, you're feeding on. A, a lady I mentor in the United States once told me, in fact, I was there, 2016. She, throughout that year, the Holy Ghost told her to stay off meat. Completely. Red meat. Now, some of these things, when we wait on the Lord, it will tell us. How did I get to know? Psalm 103 verse 5. Everybody knows that scripture. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Then when he got to verse 5, he said, Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. You need to ask the Lord, what are the good things that you want to satisfy my mouth with? The things that are good for your neighbor might not be good for you. The things that are good for your siblings might not be good for you. What, what is that good thing for me? Lord may begin to tell you, look at this, look at that. Feed more on this, less on that. Reduce your salt intake. Now that's medicine. But the Lord can tell you certain things, certain things to stop. And it's like, oh God, my taste bland, my taste board is already used to them. That's what I enjoy. No, no, no. The Lord may tell you, reduce your fries. You're eating fried, fried stuff too much? Reduce it because it's affecting your health. The Lord may tell you, get yourself some more sleep. You're, 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 you're starving your, your body of sleep. And this applies to young people. You're on your phone, 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Now, I'm guilty of that sometimes too, but it's once in a while. It's not every night. It has impact on your eyes. The rays from your mobile device has impact on your eyes. It goes to your brain. Some of you come down with headaches and you're wondering, is it the witches in our village that are disturbing me? No, it's your phone. Turn it off and go to bed. Balance yourself. Some of you don't drink water enough. You don't get enough rest. You don't do enough exercise. All of these things the Holy Ghost can point your attention to. Corresponding action. You maybe just walk a mile every morning. Walk around your estate, just do some exercise, some mild exercise, not, 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 not so strenuous. Corresponding action. And the moment you obey, a miracle will happen. It looks simple, sounds simple, but that is it. And for some of you struggling academically, it might be that you're not reading enough. You do 30 minutes, you yawn, and you sleep off. 30 minutes. But you can watch a movie for six hours. You can watch from season to season, right? You never get tired. But when it comes to your books, only 30 minutes. Your Bible, five minutes. And you want to grow. Corresponding action. 
when you are walking by faith, as you meditate on the scriptures, as you stay meditating on what God has said, if I have a health challenge, I go to the word of God and meditate. Not just reading now, I'm meditating, I'm thinking. I'm thinking through this scripture. By stripes I'm healed. If I'm healed, then why am I still here? I have to believe I'm healed. Lord, what do I do? The Lord can speak in your spirit by the Holy Ghost. What do healed people do? That's what he said to Kenneth, Kenneth Hagin when he was bedfast. What do healed people do? Healed people get up. Healed people go to the bath. They take their bath. <laughs> go and shower. If you're healed, then go to the shower. Wear your nice clothes. You need to begin to form mental images of yourself being well. See yourself going back to work. See yourself going back to church. See yourself going back to your, uh, your friends. See yourself doing the things that you used to do before when you were well. And begin to take corresponding action. If you say I'm well, I'm well, I believe I'm well, I believe I'm well, I believe by the stripes of Jesus I'm healed. You keep sleeping on your bed, pitying yourself, crying and whining, God, why me, why me, why me? You remain there. Corresponding action. Lord, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, but I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I'm blessed, Lord, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. You are, you are shouting, I'm blessed, I'm blessed in your living room. Will you get out and do something? Send the mail out. Come up with a proposal. Talk to people in business. The business that you believe God is putting in your heart. Not any kind of business. But one that you think God is leading you to. Something that you have a desire for. A passion for. Can you get yourself a mentor and ask questions? Corresponding action. In three months your life will be different. But many stay back and do nothing. And they say God is not answering their prayer. We need to take steps. We need to wait on God. And let him show us. Do you know that Jesus never did anything unless what the Father showed him to do? John 5, 19 and 20. Do you know Jesus never spoke any word unless what the Father gave him to speak? And as the Father gave him to speak and he spoke it, the Father went ahead and made it good. He said, the Father that dwelleth within me, he does the works. So, what am I saying? Lord, in this situation, what do you want me to be saying? Do I need to change my confession? Sometimes you pray and you decree all the scriptures. You step out on the street. Somebody says, how is that situation? Say, ah, my sister is still the same. Oh. Now you just negated your prayer. Your one hour of praying and confessing God's word. You, it just went down the drain. How are you doing now, my brother? Have you got that job? Ah, and we are still managing you. We don't even know. I don't know what the Lord is doing. I don't know if it will come to pass. Now you just negated your prayer. You need to hold fast the confession of your faith. Hebrews 10, 23. Have you got the job? Yes, I have. Where? Hallelujah. I'm trusting God for the manifestation. Praise God and walk away. Don't allow somebody to talk you out of your miracle. And many doubting Thomases, they will talk you out of your healing. Oh! Man, I remember a lady I was praying for some time ago and she told me, she lives in Lagos, she said, you know, she went to this prayer meeting and she believed that she received her healing that night and the Holy Spirit said to her, go to the altar and dance unto the Lord. He will give you instructions that are weird. Dance unto the Lord. As she was going, an usher met her on the way and said, where are you going? She said, I'm going to the altar to dance unto the Lord. The usher said, I can see you have a growth somewhere on her face. Look, don't joke with this situation. I know so, 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 and so, and such, and such a person that has had this before, and it killed them. I know so, so, and so, even going for surgery did not help them. I don't know what you are going to do. I don't know you before, but I just want to tell you, 
and the usher talked her out of a miracle. She did not go to the altar to dance. She went back to her seat crying and weeping. The condition still persists today. I said, my God, don't you understand that in life there are always fire extinguishers? If you allow them, they will talk you out of your greatness. They will talk you out of your faith. They will talk you out of your blessing. They will talk you out of your healing. First Samuel 17, when David showed up at the battlefront, didn't his brother say, what are, his brother Eliab, what are you doing here? I know what you have come to do. You have come to do Amebo. You have come to see what is going on. David said, what have I got to do with you? I love the man David. He will not be stopped. He was unstoppable. I am unstoppable though. And people can gang up against me, talk about me all they like. They are on their own. You are on your own. I don't care. If I've got something from God's word, I run with it and I'm unstoppable. And I will not stop until I do it. And God's name will be glorified. If Eliab had been successful, David would have gone back to his father's house that night. Goliath would have been the champion. Israel would have been in captivity. But God had prepared the 17-year-old David. Forget about his brother. He abandoned the fire extinguisher. Moved on to other people. He kept asking, what shall be done for the man that brings this man down and takes away this reproach from Israel? He kept asking until somebody went to report him to the king, Saul. And Saul sent for him. Even Saul tried to discourage him. Another fire extinguisher. You are but a youth. This man has been a warrior from his youth. David said, doesn't matter, sir. Sir, may I tell you my CV? One day I was taking off my father's ship. A lion came. I, I took an animal. I ran after him. I, re I rescued the animal. When he turned against me, I, I slew him with bare hands. Another time, a bear came. I finished him. He said, this uncircumcised Philistine shall be like one of them. And the God that delivered me from the paws of the lion and from the paws of the bear will deliver me from this Philistine. Uncircumcised Philistine. When you have faith, make sure that you are radical with your faith. Make sure nobody talks to you. Even the devil is number one person that wants to talk you out of your miracle. Eh, 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 eh. 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 Eh, eh, I'll be the first. Glory be to God. <laughs> Amen. Amen. When you engage on a big project, people will talk you out of it. Do you have uh, do you have, uh, 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 do you have wisdom? Where wisdom, you people that say wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. I've looked at their life, it's full of foolishness. I can't see any wisdom in their life. People that talk you out of big projects. When God, when you have faith in God, faith takes you, your faith feeds on the impossible. A condition the doctors will tell you is incurable. Faith will reverse it. Oh, nonsense. Faith will reverse it. Give you a miracle. Mama Dodi Austin, 1981, she was told you will die. She had metastatic cancer of the liver. Two weeks she was given to leave. Till today, till today, she's still alive and well in Houston, Texas. The mother of Pastor Joel Austin, Lakewood Church. I've met her, I've seen her with my eyes. She now prays for people that have issues in their health. Come on. Let me begin to wrap this up. God will give you what to say or show you what to do. And as you obey, you will see results. I tell you, send an email. Apply for that job. Go and open that shop. Go and pray over that thing. Go and pray for that person. Go and visit that person. Send a text. And so on and so forth. Look at the father, our father Abraham, Genesis 22. You can imagine if, if Abraham had not put corresponding action to his faith. When God showed up and God tested him and God said, bring me your son, your only son, whom thou lovest. If I were Abraham, I would say, God, maybe you are God. You are God Almighty. Take him yourself. <laughs> Abi, I will not use my hand to kill him. Take him yourself, but not Abraham. God spoke one day by the morning. Immediately, Abraham obeyed. Immediately. Those who put corresponding action to their faith, they always make it. Abraham obeyed, took Isaac and some young men, and they began to travel to Mount Moriah. And when he got to the place where the Lord spoke to him, 
Isaac asked him, my father, he said, yes, my son, behold the fire, behold the wood, where is the lamb for the burnt offering? The father said, my son, God will provide himself a, 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 a ram or a lamb for a burnt offering. God will provide himself a lamb. God will provide. God will provide. God will provide. Abraham said to the young man, he said, stay here. The lad and myself will go yonder to worship and we will come back to you. When Abraham was speaking, he was speaking by faith. He knew he was going to kill his son. He was going to sacrifice him. But he also knew that even if it means burning this boy to ashes and God raising him back to life from the ashes, he must come back with this boy. Because God had promised him that in Isaac will the promise be fulfilled. Isaac was the son of promise. So he spoke by faith. God will provide. He spoke by faith. We will return. I've said this again and again. Faith takes you on a journey, but faith also returns. It returns with results. It returns with testimonies. Hebrews 11.2, for by it, the elders obtained a good report. I, in the next 11 minutes, want to show us something. Go to that same Genesis 22, verse 18, but I want to show us a, a a story also in the Old Testament in 2 Kings chapter 7. This story blessed me. Genesis 22 and verse 18. As I wrap up the case of Abraham, Father Abraham. Verse 17, verse 17 and 18. That in blessing I will bless thee. <laughs> Let's take from verse 16. God was speaking. But myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sun which is upon the seashore and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. Verse 18 and in thy seed God speaking into the future speaking about Christ it's a messianic scripture shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou hast obeyed my voice. God told Abraham what to do. Abraham did it. And that opened up the blessing over Abraham forever. May God show you what to do. May God tell you what to do. And may you do it in the name of Jesus. And you have results. I want to share a story with us. 2 Kings chapter 7. Very interesting. <laughs> About corresponding action. And I will stop it there for tonight. 2 Kings chapter 7. It is the story of some four lepers who were at the gate of Samaria. Of course, you know lepers don't come into the city. And there was famine in the city. And the Syrians had besieged Samaria. They camped around Samaria. So, no commerce. Nobody could go into Samaria. Nobody could come out. I learned a lot from this. The Holy Ghost taught me a lot from this. Look at verse 4. Now, before we go to verse 4, let's see verse 1. Elisha, the man of God, decreed in the midst of the famine, in the midst of the pandemic, if you like. Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel. In the gate of Samaria. Then a Lord, one minister or senator, on whose hand the king leaned, maybe he was the chief of staff to the king, answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And the man of God said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes. <laughs> But I know it thereof. Elisha didn't have any chill. That man, he was a powerful prophet. He was a prophet. You know, prophets, the way they operate. He just gave it to him straight. Say, surely 
you will see with your eyes, but you will not eat thereof. Verse 3. And there were four leprous men at the entering in of the gate. And they said to one another, Why sit we here until we die? Number one thing I want you to learn tonight from the word of God is that the word of God has prevailing power over any circumstance. Prevailing power. Prevailing power. Prevailing power over any circumstance. Acts chapter 19 verse 20. The Bible says so mightily grew the word and it prevailed. No matter the circumstance in your life, if you give the word of God room, if you honor the word of God, the word will end up prevailing over the prevailing situation. Number two point. I want to give you four points. Number two point. The word of God is quick and powerful. The word of God is quick and powerful. Hebrews 4.12 The word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierces to the division of bone and marrow. Spirit and soul. Discerning the thought and intent of the heart. Number three point. From the moment you release the word of God, it starts working in the unseen realm. From the point of release, the word of God starts working in the realm of the spirit. It starts working. That's why you should maintain your confession. Hebrews 10, 23. From the moment you say, by the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. That word goes into the realm of the spirit and starts working. I will show you why I'm making this point. Number four. Faith is risky. Faith is risky. People of faith always take a risk. In Mark 5, verses 25 to 34, there was a woman that had the issue of blood. She should never come to town. If she wanted to come, she should be ringing a bell, shouting, unclean, unclean. But she was tired. She said, today, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made old. If I may but touch the, I don't need the old garment, just the hem. The garment there is Jesus' prayer shawl. Jesus was a Jewish rabbi. Jewish rabbis up till today, we are prayer sure. I have one. That prayer sure has fringes at the edges. The fringes in Hebrew language are called tzitzit. T-Z-I-T. T-Z-I-T. Tzitzit. Those are the edges, the fringes. Now, that was where the healing power was resident. The Jews, you see that prayer shawl has a significance. The Jews observe 613 commandments. They know that they can't observe it all. So Jesus is the fulfillment of the law. In him, you are complete. Now, that prayer shawl, they usually wear it when they want to pray or they wear it when they are even going about. Jesus wore a prayer shawl. He wore it every time. And I believe when he shall return, when we will see him again in glory, we shall still see him wearing the prayer shawl. Because the Bible tells us in Hebrews that he's sitting now at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us. It was the, you see that seat, seat the fringes, the hem of his garment. That's what Malachi referred to as the son of righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. The word wings there is also translated as the same word sit sit with healing in its sit sit. There shall be healing in his wings. And the woman went for the wings. She went for the helm, the fringes of his garment. Timo before walk on. Isheti ashore, Timo ba fo woko. Isheti ashore, Timo ba fo woko. Isheti ashore, Arami o ya gaga, Arami o ya gaga. I know some of you don't know it because you are you are body children. Glory be to God. I thank God for your life. Now, the woman came, and she held on. She held on to the edge. The M of his garment. The tzitzit. Now, the prayer shawl is called the talit. 
The talit is the prayer shawl, but the edge is called the ziti. Now, you remember when he went to the house in the same Mark chapter 5, when he got to the house of uh, um, uh, uh, Jairus, the girl that had died was 12 years old. The woman that had the issue of blood had it for 12 years. Jesus had 12 disciples. When they came to Elim, there were 12 wells in Elim. God has used 12 months to govern the year. 12 is God's number of government. God's governmental number. Now, that's an, another study for another day. When they got to the house of Jairus, Bible scholars have told us that he wrapped the girl in his prayer shawl, tied it around her arms, and he said, Talita kumi. Talita kumi, meaning you within the talit come forth. The talit is the prayer shawl. In English, it's translated, damsel arise. Now, this woman came and tapped into the power of God. And immediately, a fountain of blood dried up. She took a corresponding action. Imagine if she had stayed back at home and said, I believe in Jesus. I believe one day he will heal me. The Bible says when she heard that Jesus came to town, she also went out. Back to the story of the lepers. Why did I say the word of God has prevailing power over every circumstance? Do you know that because Elisha, the man of God, proclaimed the word of God, that tomorrow by this time, shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. The moment he decreed that word, that word went into the realm of the spirit and it began to work. Angels began to work. Angels began to work on people. Angels began to work on people. Angels were moving events, arranging, rearranging, arranging, rearranging because somebody had released the word of God in faith. How did I know? These lepers had been there for only God knows how. How long? Only God knows when. Only God knows how much time they had spent at the gate. They never thought of what to do. But look at what began to happen. Something began to affect their thinking. The word of God. One of them suddenly said, Ah, come on, guys. Why sit we here still until we die? Why were they not thinking like that before? They weren't thinking like that because the word had not been released. But the moment the man of God released the word, when you release a word of promise, it goes into the realm of the spirit. Angels begin to carry it out. Psalm 103 verse 20. Bless the Lord. He is angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening to the voice of his word. The mo That's why we don't joke with our confession. When you release it, something begins to happen in the realm of the spirit. So there will be a movement. There will be a vacancy. Somebody will have to quit. Somebody will have to be employed. Somebody will have to change. Somebody will have to be promoted. Somebody will have to be demoted. Because the word of God prevails. It seizes the situation. It prevails over the famine. It prevails over the lepers. It prevails over their thinking. My goodness. Suddenly they began to think. Ah, uh ah, -uh. ah. Uh -uh. Hey, wow. Hey, you guys. Four of us. Why do we sit here still until we die? One says it's true. The next verse. If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city and we shall die there. And if we sit still, look at still. I like this word. If we sit still here, we die also. Many Christians die for sitting still. They believe, oh, but they sit still. When you believe, take a corresponding action. Do something. Go somewhere. So if we sit here still, we die also. Now, therefore, <laughs> what is it there for? Come and let us fall onto the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall die. We shall but die. These guys took a risk. Oh boy, enough is enough with mediocrity. 
I will rather aim for the sun. If I don't hit the sun, I will come up with the star. I will end up with the star or end up with the moon. Rather than sit down with chickens who are not going anywhere. People who don't dream big. I don't like such people though. And I will always fight with them and they will always fight with me. Because me, I like to dream big. Big! Bigger than my head. Because that's when God steps in. I'm already dreaming. I will live 120 years. 120! I'm dreaming when I will celebrate my 100th birthday and cut the cake and share the word of God powerfully. Some people will say, hey, mm, no God, you better be careful because the devil is hearing what you are saying. You. If he's your God, then do his bidding. My own God in Genesis 6 3 says the number of his days shall be 120. I'm dreaming big. In terms of ministry, very big, global. We shall have global impact. Can I have an amen? You think a special house will just be one church in one small corner? No! We are already spreading and we are coming to your city. <laughs> Dream big. Dream big. Recently, I was looking for accommodation. They took me to one house. The house is in my neighborhood. They had not yet finished building it. The people said to me, if we get money now, that is if I bring money, they will finish it. So I looked at the place. The sitting room is not even half the size of my current sitting room. <laughs> it looked very affordable. Because it will be small money. Compared to even what I'm paying where I am. Small money. And it looked very logical. They were already telling us, it's good to start small. Our own children too started small. So that you can save money to build your own house. So because I want to build my house, I should live in the Shalanga. Abi, because I want to build a meal. Uh, look, let them say it anyway. I don't care. I don't owe anybody any apology. I will live my best life now and live it every day. Every day. And it's getting better every day. If I don't have something yet, I don't covet. I trust God. But when I do have it, I have it and I will enjoy it. Smart thinking people. They will make you shrink your vision. Shrink it. Shrink it until you can afford it. If you can afford it, you don't need God. Faith will take you to a piece of property you can't afford. It will take you to a project that is bigger than you. So that when it is done, God gets the glory. Men will see and say, this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. When the expression now started, somebody told me, that church, my own children cannot come. It's a church for Mokola people where you wear slippers. We thank God. We were wearing slippers in those days. Levels have changed now. Let them know. We now have Expression House overseas where we have a group of Expression House members in America, in the United Kingdom, in Canada, and they are fellowshipping together online. And they are paying tithe. Glory be to God. It took somebody that had faith to say, No, we shall be bigger. No, we shall be wider. No, we shall be as God has commanded for us to be. Because I remember when this church was inaugurated, the senior pastor said, As arrows are, Psalm 127, in the hands of a mighty man, so are the children of the youth. God will shoot you from this house to the ends of the earth. It is happening now. We are living the prophetic word now. Let every devil in hell hear and cringe. You can't stop the word of God. You can stop yourself. But you can't stop the word of God. We are unstoppable. More of our members are traveling very soon. We're just waiting for the pandemic to be over. Scholarship. Scholarship opportunities. Ah! When I see, I say, oh my God, Jehovah do, thank you. Jehovah redo, thank you. Jehovah undo, thank you. You undo the cause, you do the blessing, and then what you have done, you redo. You now have somebody from Nolende going to Canada. Somebody from Nolende going to Germany. Somebody from everywhere going somewhere. Don't let me, don't let me announce yet. That's what faith can do for people that can take risks. People that say, I will never, be, I will never die small. I can't be small. I refuse to be small. You see, some people will hate you for your dream because you are dreaming big. Don't be surprised. They hated Joseph. Not because of his skin color, but because of his dreams. Keep dreaming. Dream big. Very big. Very massive. Ah, 
When I named my son, somebody said, Ah, you, the second name is too long. Ojurere Olu Waroba Yimika, I said, Is it your son? They say, Ah, the name will not enter jam form. I say, Who told you the boy wants to school in Nigeria? Kadoshe Kele Dora Kotole Bara Desi Kataya, Legoria Daba, heaven heard when I said it. And I know the naysayers are saying, We shall see. <laughs> Whether the boy will school in Nigeria or not. And I'm telling you now, you shall see. That's the way I think. Oh. I, I told, when we got married, we didn't have anything. I didn't have anything. No electronics. We were thinking of going to Fijabi in Dubai to go and buy Tokumbo. Tokumbo Electronics. One day as I was in the word of God, the word of God changed my concubility, changed my senses, changed my mentality. He said, come on, boy. People that are buying brand new electronics, do they have two heads? I said, no, sir. The Lord showed me Isaiah. He said, behold, that we do a new thing. I said, new thing. I started telling my wife, no more Tokumbo, new thing. No more Tokumbo, new electronics. New e the electronics in our house, we bought them brand new. The ones we will soon buy again now, they'll be brand new. Do you know now I'm beginning to believe God for brand new cars? I know when some people hear that they will not be able to sleep tonight. Say brand new car. Ah, but boy, ah, but boy, you can be believing God for Tokumbo. Brand new. Brand new. When Tokumbo comes, we will thank God for that. But our eyes are still on brand new. Believe God that you'll never be sick again in your life. See yourself as being healthy. Healthy and blessed. Highly favored. Psalm 5 verse 12. But thou, Lord, shall bless the righteous. You shall encompass him. You shall surround him with favor as with a shield. I confess that over my children so much. Wherever they go till tonight, they are favored. People, two nights ago when our neighborhood, we just went to a neighborhood store to sit down, to charge our phones and to buy some drinks. I had not yet bought drinks when some group of young people, male and female, saw my children and just began to like them. And they were asking them, what do you want? Would you like a drink? Like they had never seen a baby before. They had never seen children. Say, ah, they like the dimples of my daughter. See, see how beautiful. Now, are two, what do you call this teeth here? Canine, or what do you call it? The big ones, they have removed though. There's an open window. Ah, they just kept saying, ah, ah, she's so beautiful. Look at the brother. He's handsome. Ah, do you want biscuit? Do you want drink? I said, hey, hey, hey. Favor, Lord, she's saying, favor. That's how somebody would tell me, Pastor Fred, where do you want your children to school? Canada, United States, or England? Where? Name it. It is paid for. And that's how it will happen. Uh, that is, if you don't know me much, you think I'm proud. Some people say I'm proud. That's their cup of coffee. Me, I, I, mean, I believe the word of God. It is people that don't believe the word of God that are proud. The word of God says you are blessed. You say, no, I'm not blessed. I'm not blessed. I'm not there yet. Then you are proud. Because you are, you are calling God a liar. The word of God says you are healed. You say, no, I'm not healed. I'm not healed. I'm not healed. You are proud. You are calling God a liar. But some of us have picked our tent with God. We have come to a point. We are no longer fickle in our conviction. We have come to say, God, whatever you say, we believe it. We are who you call us. I don't have too many friends anymore. Because destiny is not sentimental. Not everybody believes what you believe. Surround yourself only with people of faith. I only hear the people of faith. Galatians 3, 7 to 9. It said that the people of faith have been blessed with faithful Abraham. Those are the people I surround myself with. Not the people that observe the economy and talk nonsense. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Yes, verse 9. Verse 9, quickly. Galatians 3. So then, they which be of faith are what? Blessed with faithful Abraham. These lepers, they took their lives in their hands. And they rose up in the twilight to go unto the camp of the Syrians. Now, they put a corresponding action to their faith. They say, if we stay here, we die. If we go there, we die. Let's go to the Syrians. If they save us alive, we live. If they kill us, we die. But we will not remain here and die here. Let us make some efforts. Let us try. Let us do a business. Ah! Let us set up an organization. Let us go to school. Let us believe the scriptures. Let's step out in faith. And as they did, 
when they were come to the uttermost part of the, of the camp of the Syrians, behold, there was no man there. What happened? As they took a step in the physical, the word of God had taken a step in the realm of the spirit. Verse 6, I'm closing now. For the Lord, hey, the Bible didn't even tell us about the faith of these men. But look at it, verse 6, the Lord took it up. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses. Even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians to come, up against, to come upon us. Therefore, they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and, and their horses and their asses, even the camp as it was, and fled for their life. Verse 8, And when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried them silver and gold and clothes, nice design, designer garments, raiment, and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried them also and went and hid it. Then they said to one another, We do not wear. This day is a day of good tidings and we hold our peace. If we tarry till the morning light, some mischief will come upon us. Now therefore come and let us go and tell the king's household. They sent the information to the king's household. What now happened? Fast forward to verse 19. Verse 18. And it came to pass. As the man of God had spoken to the king, saying, Two measures of barley for a shekel and a measure of fine flour for a shekel shall be tomorrow about this time at the gate of Samaria. And that Lord answered the man of God and said, Now behold, if the Lord shall make windows in heaven, might such a thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but shalt not eat thereof. And so it fell out unto him. For the people trod upon him in the gate and he died. Make your choice. You want to believe God and live. The just shall live by his faith. And therefore take corresponding actions. Or you want to live permanently in fear and die. If the just shall live by faith, turn it around. The just shall die by fear. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. I will expound more on this next week. I understand our time is gone now, fast spent. By the grace of God, next week we'll talk more on these lepers. The Holy Ghost has taught me some lessons. After you have prayed, after you have confessed, take corresponding actions. Step out in the direction that the Lord will lead you. And you will find that God is already waiting for you. He's one step ahead of you, waiting for you to take that step and your life will turn around. We would love to hear your testimony. If this message has blessed you, I'd like you to please invite your family members, invite your friends, invite your colleagues. If they can come over to where you are, send them the link to watch on YouTube, bit.ly forward slash XH Media. That's how to get us on YouTube. And if you're streaming audio, you're listening via audio, tell them to download the app MixLR, M-I-X-L-R, and follow XPH Media. They should search for XPH Media and follow. Subscribe to our channel every Thursday 5 p.m., every Sunday 8 a.m. Get a word from God, a fresh word from God that will propel you to where you're supposed to be. And come down with us. We will do the good in Jesus' name. Amen! The Lord bless you. Let's say a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for your word tonight. Your word has gone forth and I believe that this word will return. It will return empty-handed. It will return with a lot of testimonies. Your people's lives will be forever changed. Their finances, their education, their health, their relationship, their marriages, and everything that concerns them. You take all the glory, Father. We love you, Lord. Thank you for loving us and showing us your word. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. See you again. Same station. Um, same time next week. God bless you. Hallelujah, church. All right. Um, if you've been blessed by this message, um, we want you to, you know, worship God with your tithes and offering uh, from all over the world. Uh, our account details, um, account number is 510016-1999. And account name is World Alive Ministries, iPhone, the Expression House. Bank name is Heritage Bank Limited. 
Heritage Bank Limited. We want you to sow a seed to this ministry and we trust that um, the Lord will continually bless you in Jesus' name. All right, um, I want to call the account number again for um, our audience at MixLR. Um, 5100161999. Now let me call it for the final time in case you didn't hear it. 5100161999. World Alive Ministries, iPhone, the Expression House, Heritage Bank PLC. God bless you. See you next week again. Bye.